Today we are going to learn how to install Kill Microvision 5 and write your first assembly code in Kill Microvision 5. So first we will go to download section, Kill Downloads and Product Download. And then we select C51 and then write your name. Okay. And um, and then company, and then you down job title, country, okay. Um, okay. And then you write, give you any phone number you want. Okay. And then I can just write whatever. Okay. And then you submit. Okay. Uh, email address appears to be invalid. Why? I don't know. Okay, maybe let's just try some. Okay. Um, okay. So some email address, hopefully this works. Okay, yes. And then you download C51 V961. Okay. Um and I already have it, but still you download it. And then after that, we also need to download an MDK for this. So let's go back a little bit. Um, and then MDKR, okay. And then you're going to do the same thing and then submit. Uh, please select your country, okay. United States, okay, submit. And then you're going to download MDK 538A, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then once you have downloaded all these things, then you will be installing it one by one. Um, I also have uploaded um, another, um, another MDK 75952 in case you need it. Okay. So, um, you can install that. You can find this on your Canvas page. Okay. Um, once you have installed it, then we will be using specifically NXP. So you also need an NXP pack. So you can write down on your Google NXP LPC 1756. And then you're going to um, You're, you're going to see this address in your browser. So this, and then you download this pack. So device family pack, download, accept. And then I already have it downloaded. So, okay, I can just cancel it. And then you can, all of them, you can install it. Once you have installed it, then you will be able to search here, Keel Microvision 5, okay. And then what you're going to do is that select project new microvision five. Okay. And I, I already have a folder, but you can actually create a folder here. Okay. Uh, heal simulation. Okay. And inside I can write add 10. That's my project name. Okay. And save. Now I specifically want one specific uh, device for which I will be writing code. And so NXP1768, that's what I am going to target. So let's select find out LPC1768. Uh, if there is a not, yes, there is. Okay, and then press okay. So, and then after that in CMSIS, we are going to select core and a startup file, which is under the device. So startup and then you select this. Okay, and then you press okay. And you will see that there are a few things here. Then now we are going to create a new file 
where you can write your assembly code. So for that, you create a new file. So you, there, you, you can create the file in new here, or you can create this white page icon. Okay. Now you can start with the comment. Okay. Author. Uh, okay. Name. And then what does it do? Addition of 10 numbers. One, two, 10. And then uh, the result will be available in register R0. Okay. Yeah, let's just stick to a small letter here. Okay, and then the starting the code looks like area, uh, my code, code. Uh, I will leave this area and is, um, is, in, is an entry point, okay? So entry and then export underscore underscore main, okay? And then underscore underscore main, okay? And then move. R0, R, uh, so we will move number R, number zero to R0 register, move R1, number one, and then loop one, this is the label, okay, add R0, R1, then add, uh, add R1, uh, number one, so now what uh, what we are going to do is that add R0, R1, add R1 and R2, and then CMP, R1, 0x, 0b, and B and E, loop one, okay? And then here, B, yeah, and okay. And then we are going to save it as add 10 and since it's an assembly program, so we're going to give dot s extension. Okay, now in a source group, select add existing files to the group and find this, select add, and then press close. So now you could see that this is has been added. Okay, now you want to build this program. So you can select build. And if everything is right, then you're going to see no error. So we have zero errors, 30 warnings. Programmers don't care about warnings. You can ignore the warning for the time being because C19 mode is not enabled here. Okay. Um, now, what we can do, you can also press again, build, and then it will build it again. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, you're going to press in the debug section, start stop debug session. Uh, oh, oh yeah, sorry. One thing I missed is that uh, in the target, in the target, you select options for the target and in the debug, use simulator because we are simulating in this case and then press okay. Now we are going to click debug. Okay, and then now it's going to launch the debug where now you can see all of these registers, okay? Register R0 to R15. R15 is a program counter register, link register, and stack pointer, okay? And then you have the carry flags here, uh, non-zero, uh, sorry, negative, zero, carry, overflow. And there are others that we didn't discuss in the class yet, okay? Which is not required uh, for the time being. Um, 